how should we think about this then? The biggest test for Bitcoin being adopted as legal tender? You know, this is an exciting moment for the for the cryptocurrency community because, of course, this is what they said will happen, right? I mean, you know, it, El Salvador, it's 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 not you know it, at the center of global finance, but still, this is this is the first test for Bitcoin. They will be very excited about this, and you know, this is um, this isn't something that has ever been done before. So, just for that reason, I think this is very exciting. Yeah, Mark, jump in. How much of a worry are we that this is going to be a buy the rumor, sell the fact event? El Salvador only has 400 bitcoins. It's not very much. Uh, so, you know, 20, 20 million dollars worth. Um, what's the expectation from here? Uh, I think I, that's, that, that is a risk. And there was this uh, push from the uh, Reddit and Twitter community to say, look, let's go out and buy Bitcoin on, you know, on the 7th of September, on today, so that they can get out there and push the price higher. But, I mean, we've already seen the price rally 40% since that announcement was made. So I think there is a risk here that, uh, you know, the, the, the air gets let out of the rally somewhat. I do think, however, that there's a lot of exciting things happening right now in the crypto space. And one of them is also a U.S. ETF potentially coming. So there's just, there's, there's just shy, s signs that it is being adopted more widely. And I mm. think that will be exciting for the crypto. Now, now the, the, paint a picture for us, Eddie, as to what it really means if a country adopts this as, a, as their currency. Because I was looking at photos of cash points. <laughs> right. But you go to the cash point to change your Bitcoin into dollars. So you still spend US dollars on the street. Is that how this still well, works? Well, it, it, it's, it's, it's a two-tier system um, in, in, in El Salvador. What they want, they want most people and big retailers to accept Bitcoin. So you would be able to go there and use your cryptocurrency wallet and pay directly. But then also, um, for smaller retailers that are not able to do so, um, they, they, will be, they will be exempt. But for the most part, I think most retailers will have to accept it. It's worth noting that it is not very popular, a very popular law um, in, in El Salvador. Uh, uh, surveys have shown that a lot of people want to see this uh, repealed. But there are good reasons for this, um, particularly around remittances. Mm. Eddie, I'm, uh, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Are you aware of the Kim Kardashian news in relation to crypto? Um, obviously, you're in trouble either way you answer this. But uh, I think it seems a little bit unfair that she's getting picked up as the one influencer as misleading investors. How is your interpretation of how this will kind of span out? Will it kind of feed into other people being targeted? Or do you think this is one off just because she's such a high profile celebrity? I would have been very disappointed if you didn't put me on the spot, Mark. Listen, uh, so... This is it is really interesting. I think there's a there's a there's a lot in the cryptocurrency that cryptocurrency space over the years that have been wrong. And, you know, picking out certain individuals, uh, you know, I think is, is challenging. I think, though, that um, what we will see, uh, you know, going forward, that celebrity adoption um, will help push cryptocurrencies. So I, 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 think, I think she's a little bit hard done by. OK, yeah, just to fill in some of those blanks there, the FCA, then the regulator here in the UK, the UK finance watchdog warning of the risks of being lured into cryptocurrency by influence. Kim Kardashian has uh, spoken in favour of a certain crypto and investors should be prepared to lose their money, says the FCA. Uh, thank you very much, Eddie. Really good to get your perspective on, you. uh, on these stories. Eddie van der Velt joining us there from the Markets Live team.